Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So, yeah, I, um, it feels weird making a video without, you know, my beanie. I swear, I have three. So, here's one. And then here's another one. And then the third one, I don't know, it's somewhere probably um, in the laundry. It needs to be washed. But yeah, I don't know, it feels weird. I, I promise, I have hair. Like, it's like, I'm always in the beanie and it's like, do you even have hair? It's like I'm out of, I did shave the side of it so now it's going through like the weird like it looks like a freaking toupee right here but anyway so um, I was gonna make an unboxing video but the video that I made somehow like I believe my memory card glitched out and the video I made never like saved even though I was like looking at the camera like my camera if it's not recording it'll shut off so the whole time I was looking at myself I was looking that it was recording and then when it came time for me to upload it, it was like there was nothing there. So it just felt like the whole time I was just talking to myself. Like, anyways, but yeah, so I did have a USPS box and then another one was a FedEx box. The USPS box had, you know, like Myron, he always like, I guess snags a bunch of his hair. It wasn't a bunch of hair, it was like one hair or whatever, but he like constantly like uploads it that it happens on his Instagram. Check him out at Hawaii Rope Chains on Instagram. But anyway, so the USPS box had a 2mm heavy link, 14 karat, 20 inch. And then the FedEx box had three pendants with the 7mm flat curb, 14 karat uh, chain. So um, it also arrived with, so I got one with the USPS box and then a bunch of these with the other one. And uh, I got stickers too, they're one of... They're in one of these boxes. I'm not sure. I just like. I took all the boxes apart and then I. Oh. Yeah. So it came with a lot of chargers and then he also hooked me up with some stickers. Um, he gave me four, but I already put one on my laptop. So. But yeah, I know. Super excited for these. I was like, man, like. With my heavy link, I was like, I was really hoping it had one, and then it didn't, and then now I have one, and like pretty much everything that like if I go out, like my favorite cup will have it, my Kindle will have it, I also have a Nook, so it's gonna have it. Anyway, so with my seven millimeter flat curb, it, it I was gonna wait on it, but I guess because he's like, I, I don't have it in stock. Let me let my supplier know. His supplier didn't have it. He's like, I only have a twenty-two. Myron was like, okay, let me get that. And he's like, hey, I have it, but I need to go get it sized for you. Like, I'm telling you, like, this guy goes above and beyond for me. And I've been shopping with him for about almost a year now. And I haven't gone anywhere since. Just because his prices are very fair. Um, and, like, the quality that you get, like, there's no matching for it. There's, like, places that, like, on Etsy, it'll say, like, oh, it's solid gold. And then it's like, okay, yeah, maybe it's solid gold, but, like, the inside is hollow or semi-hollow. Like, it's super silent. Like, when I was, like, looking, researching, like, okay, who who can I buy gold from online? It's like, they'll say, oh, it's solid gold, it's solid gold. And then it's like, and then I'll ask them, like, well, how much does it weigh? And I'll be like, oh, okay, five grams. It doesn't add up, you know? Like, if it's super thick and then it it's super light, like, you're getting cheated out. If it's, like, high price, low weight, like... They either have an insane markup price or it's hollow, semi-hollow. And at the end of the day, obviously you want to buy, you're buying gold. So you want to have a fair price for that gold and not an intense or crazy like markup price. Anyway, so um, it's just weird because like I did have this unboxing video and I was going into in debt with everything and stuff and... I don't have anything to show for it other than like four boxes. Um, well, this one is like a one. There's another one, and then there's another one. But anyway, so all all his stuff will always have like his USPS box will like it's like it's like seven by by two, and then like by maybe by five rough estimate and he'll tape it all around so if somebody does mess with it you'll know because he like they're soup they're always a clean box they're never you like you you never receive a used 
USPS box. It's super new. He tapes it all around, like every corner. So if someone did, like if you receive it and somebody messes with it, then it's like, you know, like, and there's nothing in there. Like somebody did something, but I guarantee you that will probably never happen because then as well, he puts it in another bag. So I did have one box one time that uh, maybe got snagged. A corner had a hole. But you can still see the box like it was um, like the other like plastic bag that he puts it in there. Puts the stuff in there. But yeah, if you if somebody messes with your stuff, send it back. Um, hopefully nobody did steal anything. But he's he packages it so well that, you know, it's like there's you can't like just undo a tape because it'll like it'll mess up the whole thing. But so I have all the uh, um, authenticity cards right here. In the other video, I couldn't, I, for the life of me, I couldn't say it. It's like, I speak Spanish, so sometimes I, I, I think in Spanish, and then it's like, oh, what am I trying to say in English? And then sometimes that like, you're saying things in English from Spanish, like, they don't really translate. So it's like, dude, I promise you I'm not dumb. It's just like, I have two languages, like, like, I already have, like, seven personalities, and then I have two languages talking to each other and stuff, so. But anyway, so they will all come, like, they arrived in a little baggie. And then the baggie will it will have it inside of the velvet pouch. Like I love these little velvet pouches. Like I have all the, aside from the boxes, I have all of these, and then I have all the authenticity cards. So here's another one. And then they, they all he also puts uh, Hawaii rope chains, um, microfiber for your jewelry, so that way you can you know take care of your of your jewelry because yeah it's it's like they won't tarnish because it's gold right you can shower with them you can sleep with them but at the end of the day you do want to take care of your jewelry because you know it's 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 very it's a nice piece whatever you're getting right like it's nice so you want to take care of your stuff like take care of your stuff well anyway so here's another one. Oh snaps I have them everywhere I promise you like in both cars every room every corner and it's like oh snaps my uh, my phone dies all the time because I'm always like playing a, va a game on it and it's like okay let me plug it in real quick let's see I'm trying to see where the pendants are I made the video I threw it everything in there and now I'm like here playing like uh okay here we go So, I received the, well I didn't receive, I purchased the Last Supper, it was the last one in stock. I had been eyeing this for a while and I pretty much used like my birthday and Valentine's Day to like get whatever I want. My husband's like, does that mean I, ha I don't have to get you anything? I'm like, no dude, you're good. So I kind of, like I was like, I'm just going to get two things for, for, one for Valentine's Day and then one for my birthday since like they're two days apart. And I kind of took advantage of it. Oh well. Like, I was like, I deserve the world, but like, you forgot the moon. No, I'm just kidding. So with the two millimeter and the seven millimeter, I was going for a certain look. Like, what with the two millimeter with the pendant, like that V look pool, and then um, the the twenty inch rounded. Like, I really like that look. I've been wanting that to have that look added to my collection. For a while and I'm like you know what my birthday and Valentine's Day is a perfect excuse and it was just funny because I was telling my husband he's like what do you want for your birthday and stuff and I'm like oh I want this he's like oh, like you have so much jewelry that you you're did you forget how to wear it but I'm like no I just like I want to collect certain looks so I just like I want to have a three millimeter 22 in rose gold yellow gold and white gold the three three chains I want that look like I, I want that but then I also want like a uh, Miami Cuban. I'm not like I have to save up for that one. I'm not sure if I want a 10 or a 12. But I'm going for a more choker look, you know. So it's like I'm collecting different looks. I see people when they wear their jewelry, and I'm like, I like that for myself. Or it's like I don't think it will look good on me. Just kind of those things. But you know, slowly but surely, I'm I've been kind of collecting different styles of looks for myself these videos that I make are kind of informative like 
um, so that way you don't get cheated out because when I first began look, like trying to buy a, a gold necklace I, I didn't know where to look I didn't know where to start I started YouTubing like crazy like how do you know if it's real how can you trust the site and it's like you know what I'm here to tell you like you don't need to look you know look for like random stuff on Facebook market and stuff like that because that's what I was doing I was looking on Etsy eBay Mer Mercari Facebook market and it's like someone was like oh the prices seem really good and then turns out that it was like like three times plated hydro plated whatever electrocuted plated I don't know you know what I'm saying like until like I, I accidentally came across Hawaii rope chains on Etsy and I'm like dude bet send it locked in like this is who I'm gonna stick with like anytime I try to buy a piece of gold uh, gold goldery any piece of jewelry so so I'm not gonna weigh it just because I buy in so much jewelry from him like I don't feel like the need that I have to make sure when I first bought my five millimeter 24 not from him I did weigh it and I'm like okay it's it and I did take it to like a local jeweler to see if like they they can test it out and stuff but with him it's like you know what like I don't I don't need to like it's labeled BBB like uh, Better Business Bureau and that's the three B's it's like its own like story behind why gold is labeled with the three B's some of them is not like it just depends like um, on the manufacturer as well but it will be labeled as well uh, 14 karat but anyways like I bought a f when I was in the market for a 5 millimeter 20 rope chain I bought I bought it off this this website and it was super light it was like the from my 24 to the 20 like the weight was like it was a, a big difference and I reached out to them and they're like oh well, we can Credit, credit you the difference or you can send it back and I'm like you know what I'm gonna send it back just because had I not mentioned it to them they would have never said anything and my run like one time I um I purchased a necklace and I'm like hey like I don't know if it's gonna mess with your inventory but but I accidentally bought a necklace two inches bigger than what I thought and he was like oh you know what you can send it back I can I can fix it for you um like the the length because I bought a 24 but I wanted a 22 and I'm just like, you know what? I paired it with another chain, so I'm like, you know what? Now I have that chain, that look that I was collecting for that one. I'm like, no big deal. I'll just for next time. But he like, this guy will go above and beyond for his customers. Like, so this one is a double-sided pendant. It's 1.3, the diameter with the Jesus Sacred Heart, and then the Virgin Mary with Baby Jesus. I paired it with the 2 millimeter 20 inch and this is what I'm talking about with like the 7 millimeter flat curb so with this one I think I mentioned it already so his supplier only had a 22 so he told me he's like hey my supplier only had a 22 I claimed it I'm just gonna get it sized for the 20 for you and then that way you can have it sooner and I mean, I always tell them, like, you don't have to, like, if I have to wait on something, trust me, I'm the last person that's going to be like, where's my stuff, where's my stuff, like, I'm not going to bug you, you told me when it's going to be ready, I'm going to wait, and that's it. But, um, because this guy cares about his customers, he got it right, like, it arrived on Wednesday, he took it in, um, no, he got it on a, like on a Saturday, I believe, Friday or Saturday. Then he like um, he took it in to get it um, sized for me. It was ready on Wednesday, and then it arrived at my home on Friday afternoon. But yeah, he's like, if I hadn't claimed it, you would have probably been waiting for it for a couple months. And I'm just like, sweet dude, like, I I'm glad I got it sooner. But I always tell him as well, like, I don't mind. I I understand. I'm a very understanding person. But I absolutely love that he goes above and beyond. No one, like... But yeah, it's like, when I ordered this, like, all the chargers he's put in there, the stickers, and it's like, oh, like, who cares about stickers? But me, like, I like stickers. So it's like, it's like an extra plus for me. And I also tell him, I'm like, if you have any shirts, you know, any hoodies, let me know. I would like to, like, uh, sport it and stuff. But anyway, so yeah, so I'm gonna put it on, so... 
and put it on so I can show the look that I'm trying to explain. I was wearing this earlier, um, but I took it off so I can uh, make this video. I am going to put the praying hands on it just so it has a more uh, pull down on, like look, like a more pulling look. And with the heavy links, you don't have to worry about like, oh, is the weight of the pendant too much? Like, no, these, it looks dainty, but it's really, like, it has its own little, like, it's hefty for it being, like, as thin as it is. And the thing about me is, um, I don't like wearing flat curb type necklaces with pendants. So, like, Frankos, ropes, uh, heavy links, I like the look of it with the pendant. I do not like, I personally do not like flat curbs with, um, with pendants like I don't like that like that flat look like I want it to like lay flat not sideways um, people do that with like Figaro's with Figaro's flat curves and then there's one more that I can't and Miami Cubans and I mean like if, if that's it's a classic look but I don't I don't like it not for myself But yeah, so here we go. Here we go. So you see how it has that look, right? So when I put the flat curb on, it's gonna sit up here just rounded. And it makes it look like the one with the pendant is a little bit longer, but in reality, it's not. So, give me one second. I'm going to struggle with this one somewhere. I have to make sure it's not twisted. And that's the thing, when, when you wear a pendant, it will twist. It will twist it and... So yeah, with this flat curve, I noticed that I have to spend most of the day making sure it doesn't twist and turn and stuff. But it's no big deal. Boom. There you go. This is the look. It's... Oh, dang it. I think it twisted again. And it's a flat curb, so obviously it's in the name. So it's not as heavy as you would think. It does have a weight to it, but it's like, you know, as thick as it, it looks, it's just the perfect weight. It is a flat curb. Flat necklaces, in my opinion, except for the Miami Cuban, because it has like, it's thick and it's like wide as well. The Figaro, and then the flat curb, they're light, they're light. I think I, I got it. There you go. So yeah, so this look, I'm like, you know what? I want it. I want it. I want it. And then it's like, oh. Like I said, Valentine's Day and my birthday's coming up. And I was telling my husband. And I was trying to be all sneaky about it too. But he had a sign for my package. And then he's like, hey, um, your package arrived. And I'm like, oh, sweet. And I was like trying to like go up in my daughter's room and open it. And he's like, well, if you bought more gold, I don't really care. He's like, I honestly thought they were important documents. And I'm like, no. And then he's like, so what does that mean? Does it mean that I have to get you anything for Valentine's Day? And I was like, no, you're good. Either I get, like, either he gets it for me or I get it for me and it's no big deal as long as I get it kind of thing. I don't know. It makes, I buy this, like, gold for me, for myself. It makes me feel good. I don't like to show it off. When I go out, I tuck it in or sometimes I take it off. And th these videos are just for me to like pretty much inform whoever's watching. Like, you know, like hopefully you'll come across this, this video and you're like, you're in the market for it. 
for whatever necklace, right? Whatever chain, and it's like you don't know where to start. It's like, so yeah, like I said, I've been wanting to have this look, but I was like, um, I don't know which like what sizes I should go, but obviously, like this type of look, it doesn't have to be verbatim, like the two millimeter with the seven. I personally, like for me, this is the perfect, like the perfect size for both what I, for what I was going for. You can go a lot thinner, you can go one size thinner as well, or a couple sizes thinner. Not for so much for the, um, like maybe a size thinner, maybe a size thinner for the, the smaller necklace, but the smaller you go, the less weight a pendant, I mean a chain can hold. I would like to say, unless it's like, if it's a single one, like a one millimeter rope, Figaro, Figaro Milano, or heavy link by itself, you know, like you like stack them up, maybe, but if you're gonna wear uh, a pendant with a one millimeter rope, like you're putting a lot, maybe a lot of weight on it, and it's like wear and tear, it's gonna be, the pendant's gonna be moving, and then you just never know if you might have, if it gets snagged, and then there you go. You know, I don't suggest you go one millimeter. I would say two and above. You know, when I first start purchasing jewelry, I'm like, why would anybody buy below five, below five? But the more I got into it, it's like, I started high and now I'm going low and collecting my different looks, different styles. At first, like my first three millimeter that I bought, I was like, at first when I ordered, I'm like, oh, there's a certain look that I'm going for. I don't see the big deal. But now I'm like, you know what? Now I get why people buy three millimeters. Like they're underrated. Like it's like, it's like yeah, obviously the thicker the more like you're showing off. But there's something about a three millimeter for like Milano Figaro, Franco's, or diamond cut rope chains. Like there's something about a three millimeter. It's like it honestly, it is a perfect starter chain. Like it's not too big. It's not too small. It's just the correct, like, it's just, it's just kind of right. That's my input. Trust me, at first when I started and people were like, oh, three millimeter, I was like, nah, up. But now I get it. And then I think the, so, I think the for sure, like, the smallest I would go would be two millimeter. And so far, I've just been sticking with uh, heavy links. I do have a 18 inch two millimeter heavy link and when I bought this um, no actually so the 20 inch when I bought this it was also so I can pair it with this so I can have a two layering look with the two millimeter 18 and 20 so trust me anytime I purchase a piece of jewelry I'm already thinking like okay it's gonna be with this style this style this style I can mix and match my pendants but yeah, and oh, okay, so what I was trying to say with the flat curves is that if you put a pendant, it's gonna look like this. And I don't like it, you know. I see people that do it, like, you know, that's your, prefer that's your preference. I don't like it on myself. So a lot of the stuff that I buy is for me, myself, and Frank, my alter ego. But yeah, and then how I do look at when other people have, wear their jewelry, I'm like, it just gives me ideas, but I'm never like, damn, they don't know how to wear their stuff, or I'm thinking negative. Like, I'm just like, wow, like, sometimes I ask them, like, hey, where did you get your stuff? Like, um, as well, so I know where did they, like, just ask them for my, just personal knowledge, not like it matters, but where they bought their stuff. But like, when I ask them, it's like, I want to, like, their layering look that they're going for. Sometimes I feel like people just throw things on and maybe they don't think about it. I myself, I'm very tedious. I'm very like nitpicky with certain looks that I'm going for. So yeah, so this is a, I've been wanting this look for a while and finally I, I can collect it. And there's something as well, like, I think now I'm just going to stick to like, 1.3, 1.25, 1.5 .1 style pendants. I did buy like the biggest one I have is a 2.25 cross and a 1.9 circular like kind of medallion kind of thing. But for me, I think the perfect size for myself is like anywhere between 1.25 and 1.75. Anywhere in between that size, like it's it's perfect. This is almost as like as big as a quarter. I don't have one around me, so I can't really show you, but yeah, so 
pretty much for me to accessorize like this look with different pendants right here with my double sided and then as well for my last supper but yeah anyways um I do recommend them you know I don't get paid I'm doing this out of like just me trying to inform people so that like I said I I would hate for somebody to go buy a piece of jewelry they feel good about it they come across another site that sells better high quality jewelry and now you're like wow um, you know like you're just gonna have you're gonna feel that you're gonna have that feeling every time you wear it and there's like the there's one piece of jewelry that I got and it's like you know I bought I bought this before Hawaii World Chains and it's like mm. but it, it is part of a certain look that I was going for as well so I mean it, it is my first one and after that it's like now like after your first mistake or whatever like now you learn but yeah I, I I recommend them like a lot of like jewelers as well sell you flat and like um, flat thin like pendants and they pretty much weigh like paper weights if I were to swap out these pendants all of them will give me this this V look on it you know and that's what I was going for if not like I do have one small pendant that it doesn't make my Franco move but I only got it because I wanted a, a rose gold pendant but yeah um, my round does accept pre-orders some anywhere between 50 or 100 it just depends um, I think he made it for sure 100 but he's very fast like uh, like he he doesn't feel the need to put an insane markup price because he already has like a company a job on the side and then he does this um, you know on the side as well like so he has a full-time job and then he does this as like a side hustle and I mean I don't blame him like you know we need uh, that like that hero for us you know because I did go I did go one time to um, I was prior military I got out I went to the shop there or whatever and I saw that there was a I was comparing prices right for my my gold chain so I came across them a five millimeter 24 was the same amount of weight but it was double the almost double the price and I asked them I'm like hey like why is the like I get it it's tax free but why is the market price so 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 high up there and they're like no that's how much it should that's how much it costs I'm like no well I bought my gold chain and that and the price is nowhere near that and they're like well m maybe yours is fake I almost yanked that lady out and but anyways um I was like there's no way but no it's a markup price like every jeweler has its own markup price unless you're like you're you you are a jeweler and stuff you you know what the prices are you know some people are insane about it and then some people are very fair and to me what I come to realize is that Myron Hawaii rope chains they're my personal jeweler and you know like I have a weird schedule so I'm up it's probably why you see like these bags I'm up throughout the night I have crazy hours I'm a mom or whatever so I'll like send him like hey do you have this hey I was thinking for my next one this or that and he'll answer and I'm just like I won't at, the, at this point I'm like dude like do you ever sleep because I know I never sleep anyways there's something about this look I just really I really really just like anybody that wears it this classic look like they can like anybody can wear this look you can't go wrong but for me so if you want this like look this is a two millimeter heavy heavy link 20 inch and then this is a seven millimeter 20 inch flat curb and what's funny is that I never thought that I would have I would ever have bought like would ever buy a flat curb because I was like oh just strictly ropes strictly ropes and then I was like oh but Frankos are nice you know what the Milanos are nice as well and now I'm like maybe someday eventually I will get myself a Miami Cuban um, choker type look or style or whatever but like I said I hope you guys check Hawaii rope chains out um, for those that know me and you guys are in the market um, you won't go wrong the price is fair Myron is really good with his customers 
with any with every order i believe it has to be a hundred i'm not sure all right don't quote me but it's, there's a, per, a certain price that he will hook you up with the charger for sure but yeah hopefully you watched all this video thank you for watching thank you for your time and hopefully you learned something as well like drop a comment say hello share it and you know i will be making more videos of like whenever i do get jewelry i have purchased other jewelry prior to this one the last video i made was on my bracelet i did buy other stuff but i'm a mom with two toddlers so sometimes life is crazy right now they're playing they're watching tv so they're okay and i was able to do this really fast but i really don't like to stray away and taking my my attention from them so that's why um if i do have the time i'll make the videos if not then you know what but it's not i i do buy from him frequently i wouldn't say that frequently but i do buy the stuff and i do make uh, unboxing videos but this time around unfortunately whatever reason my memory card glitched out and it didn't save even though it was showing it was recording whatever whatever but yeah thank you for watching thank you for your time and hopefully you like this video and you know what um if you subscribe thank you as well